In Amazon's Smart Fulfillment Centers in Nashville, US, Proteus is hard at work. With holiday shopping volumes surging ahead of Thanksgiving and Christmas, Amazon's first fully autonomous mobile robot chugs alongside human co-workers, moving carts filled with packages and orders. And we realized that we'd have to reinvent the warehouse. We worked on a lot of traditional automation solutions, but really 2012 was our donning point. We acquired Kiva Systems and ushered in a new age of robotics-assisted fulfillment. Miles of walking was replaced with a goods-to-person solution where mobile robots brought inventory directly to employees. With a distinctive bright green color and a friendly demeanor, Proteus can navigate effortlessly within its work area in the fulfillment center and has the ability to detect and avoid obstacles, a feat that enables it to work safely beyond the fenced areas where its robotic peers must stay. Named after one of the moons of Neptune, Proteus is part of Amazon's clever fleet of warehouse robots that include Cardinal, Robin, Sparrow and others. At delivering the Future 2024 event in Nashville recently, Amazon spotlighted these next generation of fulfillment centers or smart warehouses powered by advanced AI and cutting-edge robotics. To understand how transformative AI and robotics has been in how we operate, I thought I'd start with a little bit of history. After we first started selling books in 1995, it actually took us a few years to launch our first fulfillment center. And as you can imagine, at that time, everything in our building was manual. In the early 2000s, we went from two to 50 fulfillment centers. And by 2006, as we launched Fulfillment by Amazon, our selection was growing exponentially. Amazon believes that having robots working alongside employees is not just making processes more efficient, helping ship orders faster in the U.S., but also creating new career opportunities for employees, say in robotics maintenance, a skill that is bound to be in high demand in times to come.